Hi everyone, this is CVGS, it's me Leon, and together with me is... Hi, it's me Wesley. Yep. So today we have brought, we are bringing you the BS for, unboxing for the BS48. The, the box name, uh, Wick, uh, Waking Saga. A Waking uh, Saga. Yes, correct. A Waking Saga for the Battle Spirits, uh, the new uh, Chiu Koringhen uh, Volume 1. So this is the follow-up to the last set, uh, which ends off with Zeus winning and corrupting uh, Lolo. Lolo. So that's where the law has uh, picked up to. And now we are bringing you new Grand Walkers and including a new mechanic called Saga Brave. Which brace can be used on Grand Walker themselves. So uh, let's uh, skip to let's skip the rest of the things and let's go straight into the detail. The first, the box release will be on the twenty seventh of April. So uh, you should check them out as they will be sold on a lot of the stores such as TOG and stuff like that. So you may want to check them out. So next, going on the details of the box itself, uh, we would like to have a look at what we have here. There's hundred and twenty three cards, uh, two double X rares, ten X rares, fourteen Master rares. 24 rest, 70 commons, and 3 10x. So uh, the main boosts for this set are all colors as usual. And what we are looking at is the new set uh, for the Asian Dragons, the Death Dragons, and the Fairy. Then then the splash for the Arm Machine, Fusion Beast, as well as uh, Wing Beast, as well as the Galaxian. But the Galaxian this time around they're getting all the 10x uh, boosting as well as the double x rest, which is kind of fierce actually. Yep. So okay, let us have a look at uh, the packs itself quickly. So, but, okay, the it's just the same as this uh, box cover, very color, very, very brown. Uh, yep. So yep, the nice contrast between the blue, red, and uh, purple. So yeah, as well as the information at the back. But uh, let's uh, not delay you any further. Let us get straight to the cards themselves. All Shall right. We? All right. Now with the packs open up, so this is what we got here. So uh, quite a nice variety, one of each color. No, you know, okay, no, not really two, but yeah. So apparently we actually have a um, this box actually comes with two of the special rares, which we didn't mention earlier, which is a, basically the reprint for the Moonlight Barony Grand Walker as well as the Bashin Dan Grand Walker as well. Basically, it's the same one when they when you get from the Dream Deck, uh, but this is reprinted with an alternate art to it. So yeah, in uh, celebration to Brave itself for its third season. Oh, so to speak, like third season, is that come? Third yeah, season? it's uh, Battle Spirits Saga Brave. Battle Spirits okay. Saga Brave, ah. Okay, so with, uh, without further ado, let us go straight into the card effects of uh, what we have reviewed here. If you are looking for the card translation and names and everything else, uh, do visit the World of Cards uh, on the Facebook and you get all the details from there. Okay, let us begin. First card here, the Destruction God Dragon, Valdrum. Okay, so it's a Avatar Death Dragon. So it has a flash uh, radiant descent ability, God Descent. Oh, it's a God Descent. Okay, that dragon costs six uh, or higher. So it's either you send a soul card to the trash or one call from the Grand Walker Nexus to, uh, to this spirit and stack this card on top of the target spirit. Okay, okay level one, two, and three. When this spirit descends, destroy all other spirits. Ultimate Nexus. If you have four more cards, uh, four more cards down in your open zone. So it's not in your open zone. This card, uh, this effect uh, does not destroy your spirit on access. Okay, there's a bit of setup going on. Level two and three flash when this spirit attacks by banishing four face down cards from your open zone out of the game. Send one call from your opponent's life to your opponent's trash. Okay, so uh, not only is a double symbol, it also is a board wipe. Do what this is. A, this is actually a very strong card. And also, it even has a uh, effect damage. It even has effect damage, so it's very devastating, especially when it attacks. When you swing by banishing four, so if you stack up the initial phase, uh, phase down for the four cards in your open zone, you potentially can do uh, a one shot. Uh, and since it's a flash timing one, if you have more than four, um, eight, sixteen, even you yeah. could you could potentially wipe your opponent's life straight during your flash timing instead of attacking. Exactly. So yeah, potential uh, one shot la. And not to mention again, he has double symbol, so it will be very painful if the attack goes through even. Damn. Purple is on drugs. Okay, but the next thing on drugs is the white card. So Wesley, who's this? The Holy Glyph War Machine. Uh, Re Rebellion Nahe Naheshid. Summoning as an ultimate, he has a summoning condition. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also uh, his uh, avatar and uh, arm machine. His mm -hmm. summoning condition is uh, having at least one spirit or ultimate that's white. Oh no, just having one spirit ultimate that's uh, arm machine. Mm, okay. Uh, this white uh, this set burst 
it's a burst. Uh, this set burst is unaffected it, when it's set. Uh, if you have a white one color Grand Walker Nexus on the field, mm -hmm. uh, its burst condition is life reduction as usual. Uh, his effect, burst effect is to send two of your opponent's spirit or ultimates, one to the top and one to the bottom of the deck. And then afterwards, you can ignore its summoning condition and summon this card uh, without paying the cost. Uh, on its level 4 and 5, uh, on block, after the battle ends, this, uh, this ultimate refreshes and then your opponent takes one of his cores in his life to the reserve. Eee, drugs, <laughs> drugs. So basically, this white card is very defensive. Um, like the top deck itself, I mean, it's supposed to go with top. So it it is just straight up defensive. Uh. It wreaks defense all over the place. So it's like now it has a on blocking your opponent takes one. Why? <laughs> yeah, it removes two and then it still allows itself to block. Wow, which is which is it's not broke, but it's definitely very irritating to deal with, considering that it's unaffected. Uh. So long you have one uh, Grand Walker Nexus on the table, right? Uh, which most likely will be tough, lah. White Grand Walker to be more specific. So it's not too bad. It's actually quite good. Uh, its BP isn't particularly high at 12k on level four, mm. but 20k at level five is uh, on the high end. Yeah. Uh, 20 20k is quite borderline at this point, uh, In this part of the game now, it's actually quite borderline. I mean, it's usually the, is the usual shot for that. Okay, moving on. Let's uh, let's go into the diva. Okay, not really diva, diva per se. Okay, our Grand Walker uh, Aphrodite. Okay, let's see whether she can charm you with her uh, with her abilities. So she's a Grand Walker Olim. Olim. <laughs> Zeus. <laughs> I hate you. Anyways, so uh, she charges on fairy, uh, heaven messenger, avatar, and cost three or higher. Fairy and magic. So this symbol is also treated as yellow, so the usual. And then the grand skill, level 1 and 2, during the start of your attack step, send 6 calls from this nexus to the void. During this turn, one opposing spirit ultimate cannot activate its effect and cannot be affected by any other than this effect. In addition, it must attack your opponent first this step, even if it's in exhaust position and at the end of that battle. Send it to the bottom of the deck, uh, to your opponent's deck. Okay, grand field. Bo uh, during both players attack step, the cost of all yellow magicka in your hand is minus one. Okay, so the first skill is mind control. Okay, so she has this very actually very. This is the first time I heard of anything of taking control of monsters actually. Like, it's mm -hmm. not exactly taking control since you are not taking it to your side of the board state. So technically you are hitting your opponents uh, themselves with their own spirits. So uh, some of the cards cannot trigger like your when your opponent's spirit attacks. Or effects like uh, all your other spirits, uh, you know, when they leave the field, stuff like the uh, the imaginary beast, the dung beetle. Mm -hmm. I think this is also a very uh, it's a very unique Grand Walker on its on its own, and this is also, uh, it doesn't have the the ability like the Brahma. That allows you to jump out and do the fighting uh, for you. Uh, Grand Force. The Grand Force ability. Uh, but that's fine. I'm she still functions as per normal as any Grand Walker. Although I was kind of hoping that she has this uh, jump out. But why would she jump out to deal with you when she can get someone else to do it for her? Die for me. <laughs> die for me. After die this time. Uh, you know, same more, same more. Well, next to her is another beautiful lady that we have here. Uh, let's see your horoscope today, shall we? Uh, it's the Valkyrie uh, Virgo deity, uh, Valgia. Is that how you pronounce it? Belgia? Okay, X. Belgia X. Oh, I love it so much. Because Avatar Collection. <laughs> okay, and Divine Spirit. Okay, so this guy is a uh, reduction symbol. It's treated as uh, all colors. Basically, red, purple, green, white, yellow, blue. Okay, so uh, level 1, 2, and 3. During your opponent's attack step, uh, Opposing Spirit Ultimate. Cost 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. Cannot attack. Naze, naze, naze. Jama. <laughs> okay, okay. Astro release level uh, on one, level two and three. When your spirit from the family Kalexin is destroyed by opposing effect, by sending one call from your Grand Walker Nexus with six colors to your spirit, add one call from the void to your life. If done so, send all of the destroyed spirit back to your hand. Do you know that sounds like a very com very good combo in my current deck right now? Mm-hmm. I need to play this thing. I need to. Yeah, can I test it on you later? 
Oh well, <coughs> maybe after I'm done with my own new decks. Okay, sure, sure. We'll see what you get later, alright, shall we? Okay, lastly, we have Barone. Okay, Moonlight Barone is basically exactly the same as its uh, previous uh, print, just that now it's officially block 6. It looks nicer also. Okay, so uh, for those who have not got this card before, uh, let me read this skill out for you. So, Grand Walker, uh, Moonlight Barone, so charges on Arm Machine, Astro Soul, Astro Deity, Galaxian uh, uh, Visitant, and cost, uh, there is cost 3 above. And finally, Brave. So, this grand skill, level 1 and 2, Flash, on either player's attack step. Once per turn, you may send 2 costs from this uh, Grand Walker to the Void. Uh, Arm Machine, Astro Soul, Astro Deity, Galaxian, will refresh. It's a mouthful, oh my god. Okay, so uh, as for his grand field, level 2, uh, on your attack step, when your Arm Machine, Astro Soul, Astro Deity, Galaxian uh, is blocked, refresh it once per turn. Uh, just refresh it. Uh, yeah, correct. Yeah, block right. So yeah, this is basically again it's a reprint. So if you own the dream deck, you will already have your own set. If you need more, they have been generous to print you another set. All thanks to the enemy showing up again for Bashindan and Barone. Which also there will be another deck coming up for that. But we'll go into details for that yeah another time. Okay, so thank you all for watching. So uh, if you like what you see here, do remember to subscribe to us, uh, CVGS. Ring the bell at the bottom to get notification of all our videos. As well, if you want to talk to us, we will be on our Discord, Twitter, you know, all our socials, as well as Facebook. So do remember to uh, give us a ping. We will be there on most nights anyway for Discord. So uh, having that said, uh, thank you all for watching again. So uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.